So when in Rome, they have a new TJ Maxx and Beals, which is... We're going to hit them up. Disappointment. I got some clothes, but I mean, they did have some decent fragrances though. Coach Blue, don't pay 60 bucks. You can get that for 30 some odd, 40 bucks. But decent stuff out there, just nothing worth grabbing, unfortunately. So until next time.
So as you can see, I've been hunting and hunting and hunting. Started in Homa when I was back in Louisiana for my draft at my annual trip. Whole lot of nothing at Beals and TJ Maxx. I mean, some stuff, but either stuff I had or stuff I wasn't interested in. Then we get back here, and again, I hit Beals, and we went to TJ Maxx in Panama City, and we were checking out. Like, this wasn't even in the video. It's going to be in the thumbnail. You already know what it is. It caught my eye in this little section of women's fragrances. Lacoste Red. So this is the same type of bottle that Lacoste Essential is in. So you go 40 bucks, 4.2 ounce. I did look at the notes. Apparently it's on the fruity and green side. Um, I'm going to say apple, fruity, fresh, green, woodsy. Seemed pretty mass appealing. So I said, you know what? Let me take a shot. I've never seen this before. So we're going to bust it open and check it out. And here we go. Like I was saying, same bottle as Lacoste Essential has the gator pressed into the glass in the back with an even cheaper cap than before. That is the same kind of cap that's on the L1212 fragrances. But dark yellow juice says Lacoste Red with the alligator. 4.2 ounce. Cap holds pretty strongly into place, I will say. Nothing on the hand. Two good sprays. I definitely smell apple. I remember apple being in the notes. Let's see what we're working with here. Oh, that is fruity and fresh. Very easy going, but on the generic side, I will say it does it doesn't smell inspired. And it has a familiarity. There's no denying that. But that is just nice. This reminds me of something though. Very much familiar. A little green and spicy, fruity, clear as day apple, a crisp green apple. A little watery. Mega fresh, though. Mega, mega fresh. A lot of apple. Very apple dominant. Um, it's, it seems so familiar. I think I know what this is similar to, and I just can't pinpoint it. It's eluding me. It's, it's wanting to come to mind, but it's not quite coming to mind. Oh, that is quite nice. Indeed, that is quite nice. Yeah, fruity, green, a little musky. And a touch of green, like fresh spice. There's a little, not really peppery. I would think it's probably some greens. This is super easy going. This is a casual, warm day, running errands, work fragrance, super work safe. Probably not a great performer. Let's pull up these notes and get a refresher course, if you will. A few minutes later. So apparently this came out in 2004 on Parfumo, which I'll have it on screen for you guys. It's 6.9 rating out of 10. So above average, 155 ratings. Fresh, fruity, sweet, synthetic, woody. Green apple, maclura fruit. Don't know what the hell that is. Arborvitae? Arborvitae? No clue. Jasmine, cedar leaf, Siberian stone pine. So there's probably that dominant green note. White musk, yeah, there's clearly a muskiness here. Patchouli and vetiver. So there's your woodiness is the vetiver because it's not earthy at all. According to this, it's similar to other versions of Lacoste Red. So I'm guessing it's a reformulation of this version. Yeah, it's the exact same bottle. So this is just a newer bottle of that same old formula, because I've seen that bottle on the internet before. This is just a rebottling, basically. Same fragrance, same notes. So yeah, I had never tried this before. So this came out in 04 in a different bottle, which I'll put the bottle on screen. So this is what the bottle used to look like. Apparently longevity and projection and sillage and all that good stuff is on the weaker side. 5.8 ratings for both. But since a 7, people give it a pretty good rating on on scent. So on the new formula that shows this bottle, Scent still 6.9 is pretty much a 7. 6.2 and 6.1, basically the same. This may be a little bit better. Great value for money. 43 ratings, a 7.4. So people are rating it as a pretty good value. Cheapy. It was 40 bucks. I don't know if you can get it cheaper online. Probably. Or this might be going right. I don't know. For, but for a 4.2 ounce bottle, 
of a very easy going, easy to like fragrance from a, you know, mid-level designer is kind of how I would put something like Lacoste, which I'm a fan of the brand. I have a bunch of fragrances. Admittedly, most of them are in the L1212 L1212 line, tongue twister. But I have this cap. I do have Lacoste Pour Homme as well. And I think that's the only non-L1212 fragrance I have from them besides this. Oh, and I have Essential. I have, which this bottle, which had this bottle first. It's not special, but it's really, really easy to like. It's a solid fragrance. I think it's a very good 7.5 out of 10. I'm kind of in line with what they're rating it. They're rating it a 6.9 out of 10. I'm slightly better at a 7.5 out of 10. I think it's a very good fragrance, well above average. I pretty much agree across the board with what I'm seeing with people rating this fragrance. A good bit of ratings, too. 155 ratings total. Um, from people on this particular fragrance, the reformulation, the rebottling, however you'd like to look at it. It is very nice. As far as what's similar to, they're just comparing it to the older bottle style. So maybe it's more distinctive than I'm giving it credit for. It doesn't come across as a distinctive and unique scent profile to me. But it's fruity, fresh, and green with a little bit of spice and a soft woody tone. The vetiver here just provides a soft woody feel. So I'm vibing with it. Um, if I didn't already have a fragrance on out the shower, I would throw this on. So maybe in the next couple of days, you'll see this as a scent of the day. So yeah, we're going with 7.5 out of 10. Well, that's my initial thoughts on Lacoste Red, the rebottling. This is a solid fragrance. I got a lot of it too, 4.2 ounces. There's a lot of fragrance. Um, might, I may never go through this entire bottle, but it is nice. It's not something that I feel like everybody needs to rush out and get. If you come across it, jump on it. I just happened to see this and was like, ooh, I've never seen that Lacoste fragrance before. And the first thing that came to mind was the old bottle. I didn't know it was rebottled, but it's solid. It's very good. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, because I do appreciate all the feedback. And I love hearing from you guys. Who's tried this? The previous version in the old bottle? Whatever. It's the same fragrance. I'm sure it performs the same. It's probably the exact same. Because I doubt that was some powerhouse before where it's just heavily reformulated. What do you guys think about this that have tried it? Clearly, I'm very late to the game. This fragrance came out 19 years ago at the recording of this. Um, but it's nice. It is nice. It falls in line with kind of the aesthetic of the brand. Easy going, not exactly the same as everyone else, but also not out the box either. So I can appreciate that. Until next time, I will say if you get your hands on Lacoste Red and you give it a spray now, I don't know. There's always that chance that you might thank me later. Have a good one, guys.